morning and welcome back to my channel Super at 60. I'm so happy that you're here today. It is so hot here. It is really hot. I mean, it's downright hot, and the, but the sun feels so good. I have to admit, it was. I had to go out and let Brownie out for a little bit this morning, and it was so nice to feel that sunshine. It feels like the summer sun has finally come, so here we go. But anyway, welcome back, because this is my Simple Suppers series. This is the third in the series. I can hardly get that out. Um, and tonight is simply an old Amish dinner that my mother, my Amish mother gave me uh, years ago. And it's called Supper in a Dish, and that's basically what it is. And it, this, this dish, she told me, was created specifically for those Amish homes that are so busy at nighttime, at dinner time, well, they all are really, but those in particular um, that are farmers, you know, uh, supper time, those farmers are hungry when they come in from the field and they need a, a good hearty supper. So this one I'm gonna make you tonight, supper in a dish, the Amish way. All right, let's go ahead and begin with the potato. Okay, just a plain old, I think these are Idaho potatoes, but you could use any kind. If you have red potatoes, that's fine. In fact, that's even better, because I, when I have red potatoes, I don't even bother to peel them, but I did go ahead and um, peel them, wash them, and now I'm gonna stick them through my favorite little uh, device here. Oops, I'll get that. And I've put a different, um, it's not a shredder slicer like for the cheese, but it's um, got, see that little thing right, right there? That's the slicer. That's what's going to slice these potatoes into nice even sizes. And you know, if you're gonna make scalloped potatoes, this is kind of what you would want to do. Uh, but this is how we're gonna start by layering our dish tonight. Look how beautiful they come out. Look how nice and thin they are. They're absolutely perfect for potato chips. If you wanted to throw these right now, dry them off just a little bit and throw them in some hot uh, coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil. They would be so healthy and so delicious. They are absolutely beautiful. I'm telling you, this machine thing, <laughs> slicer, peeler, whatever it does, I don't, it does a lot of things, but um, it's an awful lot of fun. So I'll go ahead and do that real quickly for you. And I can do it quickly in this nice machine. I just love it. Um, I did some cheese for you just a while back, maybe a couple videos ago. Oh my goodness, does that ever go fast? Perfect, and I'm probably gonna have, we're gonna need some cheese for this dish, so you might see me do that again. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I'm so happy with how that every time they come out, I'm just utterly amazed. I can't believe I haven't made potato chips yet. I'm gonna have to give that a try. Just a little bit of onion, that's all I need for this. So I'm just gonna chop up, oh, probably, I don't know, I'd say about a quarter of a cup. I really don't need too much. If you have some green pepper, which I do not, but that is also very delicious in this casserole when I make it sometimes. Um, if you have some celery, you can do that if you like. And I do have some, <laughs> oh, honestly, I'm just so tired and so darn lazy tonight that uh, I'm just not even gonna chop up my celery, but I am gonna do my onion. Yeah, I just have to have onion. I know, a lot of you remember me saying my husband doesn't like onions, and he doesn't. But, oddly enough, he still eats them. <laughs> and onions do have worse. I mean, they are delicious, but they have a lot of vitamins in them too. So, you know, if I can get him to eat a little bit of onion, I feel like I'm doing my wifely duties, right? You know what I mean? All right, let's go ahead and layer this up. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, coconut oil in the bottom of my pan here because I don't want the potatoes or anything else for that matter to stick. Just take a little baggie, just a cheap little baggie, just because I don't want my hands to be all greasy. Normally I don't mind getting a little coconut oil on my hands because I just rub it into my hands or the back of my hands or can find a spot to put it somewhere because it's that good for you. All right, there we go, perfect. You can use olive oil if you want. You can use a spray oil if you want. Anything like that is just fine. All right, we're gonna layer up our potatoes first. And now the onions can go right on top of those potatoes. And next thing I'm gonna add on here will be our meat. Alright, one of the things that I 
love about this casserole that makes it super, super easy is this right here. Yes, frozen veggies, frozen veggies. Carrots, I have carrots, peas, and corn, and green beans. And we're gonna throw those right in on the top. Now you will not need this whole bag unless you're making two or three of these, okay? So I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna sprinkle them on the, on the top of the chicken and the onions and the potato, and then we'll take it from there. We're almost done. All right, and then the last thing that I wanna do, I have this little tiny bowl here, and in here is a can of cream of mushroom soup. You can use cream of chicken soup if you like. I actually have a little of both going on in here tonight because I had about a quarter of a cup worth of cream of chicken soup left in my refrigerator and I wanted to use it up. And all I'm gonna to do to that right now is add just a tad bit of milk just to get it nice and creamy. And yeah, I could have used a bigger bowl, huh? <laughs> I'm just thinking that now. Could have used a bigger bowl. All right, I'm gonna get this nice and creamy. It'll just take me a second. And in the meantime, we're gonna go back to that wonderful little slicer machine because I need shredded cheese for the top. And this is like a little <clears throat> mini masterpiece here, although it's so, so easy and so very delicious. Uh, we need cheese on top. Yeah, nice creamy cheese. All right, now I'm gonna slice up the rest of this cheese. This is eight ounces that I'm doing right now, but I'm gonna need cheese for the rest of the week. So, um, yeah, I might as well just go ahead and do it at the same time. Look how easy that comes out. Oh, I just love this thing. Yeah. All right, and I'm just gonna keep doing it, and I'll meet you back at the casserole. All right, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper on because sometimes these veggies can be a little bit bland, and the potatoes. So make sure you have plenty, plenty of salt to accommodate for all of those and nice black pepper too. Don't forget that. Any seasoning you wanna put in here is fine. If you wanna put more onion powder in here or um, Italian seasoning or whatever you like is fine. But you know, basically this is the dish. All right, and what I'm gonna do right now is take that creamy cream of mushroom or cream of chicken soup and just kind of layer it right over the top. And if this isn't a simple supper, I just don't know what is. Other than one of these days you're gonna see me do uh, pull out a loaf of bread, a jar of peanut butter, and a jar of jelly. <laughs> the ultimate, right? Honestly, the ultimate easy, simple supper, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And believe me, I am not too, uh, too proud to say that that has happened in this house. That has happened in this house before, yes. <laughs> but that's okay, it's happened in yours too, and I know it has. Okay, if there's anybody out there who's never had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for dinner, you can just leave that in the comments and I will personally apologize. <laughs> All right, oh, that's looking really good. Really delicious. Just kind of pack it down a little bit. There we go. All right, now the last thing before the cheese, it needs a little bit of whipped cream cheese. Okay, whipped, you want the whipped cream cheese and just dollop it all around now do you not make this recipe if you don't have it nope you go ahead and make it anyway this just puts it over the top this almost i would have to say hmm makes it maybe company worthy yeah company worthy why not and yes i know i'm going to get the question but i don't have the whipped i have regular cream cheese can i cut that into little pieces and just toss it on top absolutely you can you'll be delicious and it's so hot in my kitchen right now. <laughs> I know you're tired of hearing me say that, but I get cranky. I get really cranky and I get fussy when I'm hot. I don't like it. Okay, but oddly enough, I do love the spring and summer, so as long as I'm in the air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, 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 that would be me. We are almost done with our simple supper number three, supper in a dish, the Amish supper in a dish. There you go, it is absolutely beautiful to look at and now the best part, the cheese, the homemade, I always call this homemade cheese. <laughs> Even though I did not make this cheese, I simply grated it. All right, it's all done. Now at this point, if you're not quite ready for dinner, cover it up, park it in the fridge for as long as you need. You'll probably even make it the day before. Um, but there you go, it's lovely.
today at Super at 60. I'm telling you, that is one heck of a fine supper. Your family will absolutely love it. And of course, if you want to cut it in half, if it's just the two of you or one of you, uh, that's fairly easy to do. Or make the whole thing, but just put it in two different separate casseroles. That always works too. Um, however, tonight, for the first time in a long time, I made the entire dish because I know Lou is going to love this and he'll eat it tonight. And I bet you anything, he'll eat it tomorrow night too because there'll be plenty left. Um, the ingredients make, I would say probably, I'm kind of staring at it right now. Uh, I would say it would feed six very comfortably if you decide to serve some dinner rolls with it and a nice side salad and maybe some applesauce on the side, Amish style. <laughs> it will go down beautifully in history as one of the most delicious suppers served out of your kitchen. I hope that you are enjoying these uh, simple suppers. They could not be any more simpler or more delicious. And so far, I think most of them have been pretty much company worthy. That's always my tagline. You know, I just think that if you're gonna spend time in the kitchen and you're gonna build things up from scratch, it might as well be company worthy. So thanks again for joining me. I'll see you guys so very, very soon. Bye now, and Lord bless.